Bruce Truman is a coaster who grew up on a dairy farm and worked in the gold mining industry before starting Super Sphag, a business harvesting and processing sphagnum moss. The company's success lies in its use of waste moss left over from the cleaning process used by traditional moss exporters. We're a sphagnum moss exporter, that's all I've been doing. We've still only ever done petal products rather than the full length sphagnum cristatum, which is what you might buy in the shop. The products back in 1992, there was one, and that was just packed up for bulk product and used as a potting mix. That now, we pretty much don't do. It'd be like 2% of our product that goes here would be that product now. We're all now into either flat sheets, which is stamped out to suit cell tray production of plants, or the new ones, which is for water filters, which an American company has got onto. Sphagnum cristatum will hold 20 times its own weight in water, and it's absorbent of a lot of different liquids. I've used waste moss for oil, um, but you see it when it draws up water. You know, if you've got a puddle of water and you put a piece of moss in the middle of it, it'll actually just suck it all in to the centre. It's actually very absorbent when it's dry. This block here, this is 160 hectares. It's a native moss block. It's got manuka, rushes, uh, lots of other plants in here. Now, if you leave the manuka uncontrolled, it will actually dry the block out and you won't have a wetland anymore. It'll just be a block of manuka. Sustainably harvesting, basically the moss will look after itself. It doesn't like to be messed with too much. So after we've picked, um, in theory, just clean the block up behind us, maybe stack up the rubbish and leave it alone. Seven years later, come back, pick it again. It can even become quicker. I've only done one harvest here, and we've only touched the front corner of this place. I think I've only been on 40 hectares of it, because the other 120 hectares we haven't looked at yet. The moss resource now is really depleted because um, of change of land use through mainly into humping and hollowing and becoming dairy units. I bought this block because this did have a tag on it for having the same thing happen to it, uh, which unfortunately I did buy at the peak. There's definitely not the peak there anymore. Um, but I think now we've got an opportunity to show that the moss industry has got a place still and give us two or three years and hopefully we can, you know, the landowners start making something from it off the moss and just leave it what it is. It is in our best interest to keep it as a wetland. You know, sphagnum moss producers need it to be wet. There's no way we want these blocks to dry out because the sphagnum moss just won't exist there. But they do have to be managed to keep them that way. If you just let them be, they won't stay as a wetland. We don't want the diggers coming in here and digging them up either. So we'll be minimal roading, minimal everything, and minimal ground impact that when we are in there. But there is some things like mechanical harvesting and stuff I think there's a future for. But there has been shown with some trials over time that a track rolling of the swamp after you have harvested, it does respond to that very well. We're using the helicopter for pulling out the moss, which traditionally the moss industry has mostly done. I have had a go at doing it with a tracked machine, um, but when the moss block is pretty wet, it's hard on the moss um, base. So I've found as much as the helicopters are expensive, it is way gentler on the, on the moss base. So um, trying to look after our you know, the growing roots. The wet moss from the moss block comes back to here dry, uh, which is this stuff. And traditionally, the moss industry is always exporting this, so they'll be looking for as long as they can get. The grades get better and better. While they've been cleaning this, they end up with this stuff here. Sphagnum moss comes with this long stem. We are extracting the petal from the stem, and we end up with this product here as pure as we can possibly get it. Obviously, what you start with helps with what you get here, but our cleaning process is very good now. We can pretty much control infinitely how clean we get the moss. I've always been driven to just keep improving. As far as I'm concerned, if you're not getting better or improving, you're actually going backwards because your competition will be catching you up. So always just keep improving. The other thing is, because we have been improving, it has actually got us into this market which has come along for the water filtration because the purity of the sphagnum petal is actually quite high. It has to be 95% pure sphagnum cristatum petal. The plant we've got in here has actually all been built and designed for our company. So nothing in here is actually off the shelf. Here we've got a range of our end products. 
starting from right back at the beginning, this is what we used to do back in 92. You see, quite dirty on the outside. Once we got a few cleaning things going on, they got a bit cleaner. And that is the way that we used to present those ones. Again, all we did back then was for potting mixes. So the end user would have grabbed this, put it into water, swelled it up, mixed it with bark or whatever else that they were using in their potting mix, and that would have just been for straight out growing plants. We still sell the product for that, but we now do it as this. Um, each square has still got quite a bit of moss in, and this is our cleaned up moss that we do these days. Until recently, the ones going into seedlings in um, Europe was our main seller, which is this one. They would get a sheet like this, just tear it off like a sheet of stamps, and they'd be using two of these for each seedling. And it was just pot into a seedling, swell up when it's all watered after all the potting's done, and the wholesale tray will then be potted up plants. That is still one of our main lines. Would still be 50% of our work, but it, it's, it's on hard times because the plants that they grow in the sphagnum mosses are not selling, they're too expensive. People are buying cheaper plants, still a sign of the world economy. The new line that we're doing these days is this one, being used for water filtration. It helps stop the slime which is in water which builds up on the sides of swimming pools or on cooling towers, and it helps to remove that. Uh, so that, in combination with the greatly reduced chemical usage, really nice clean water. The future for this stuff here is very, very good. And the amount of growth that it's experienced just in the last 12 months has been quite good. So it's had its years of developing the market and getting the market, getting the enthusiasm for people to use it. But once they become enthused and get onto the water being treated with that, they just keep going. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.